Welcome, welcome to this very special, very special stream tonight as I stream a Doug Tenable game, Armacrog, which I've never played before. It is an adventure game that was crowdfunded a while ago that features some of Doug's amazing art in the form of claymation animation. If you're here for the first time on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as that is super useful for you guys uh, following what we do here. This is a joint venture between myself and my friend Elliot. He makes videos on here and I make videos on here. Tonight is a me night, so we will be streaming this game a sort of a retro night here on the channel as that is what i am most interested in is older video games not the current crop of stuff that's elliot's domain if you guys like what you see don't forget to like and subscribe all right let's go ahead and start the game because i have not uh oh my word it's the one and only jimmy Welcome, Jimmy from Gannon. Mario and Cookies R Us. Perry343, welcome. Guys, if you're not subscribed to Jimmy from, from uh, GMC R Us, name switches around, make sure you do that, as I strongly recommend his channel. One of the few streaming video game streaming channels that I actually watch on a regular basis. Well, let's go ahead and start a new game. Again, I have not played this. I gotta turn down that audio, don't I? Woo, so you guys don't go deaf. Am I from Apologia as well? I used to be a member of Apologia, but times change and we decided to go to a church closer near our house. So we don't uh, no longer go there. But yeah, in the past, I did go to Apologia Church. In fact, I was a deacon there. See that? Doug Tenaple look to the characters for sure. Nice catchy song. I think this game came out in 2015. Was what I saw when I typed in what game I was playing tonight. Get this started. Okay, okay, BC. I'm just glad we're still alive. Yeah, me too. Now, let's get a look at the hall. Yeah, this does not look good. I don't think our fire insurance is going to cover this. Our deductible is not too big. Speak, speak. Look at this. What do you make of this guy? Right, tell me if the, the volume is a little bit better, if it's too loud now. Yeah. Doug is, uh, Doug's claymation is really quite cool, so. This character here is actually voiced by Mike from from Mystery Science Theater 3000. B. 
Sneaky. What? Are you serious, Andrew? Maybe. Could be. All right, I <laughs> will now will now click on things and play this adventure game. Click on this window, see what that does. All right, we've looked outside. <laughs> All right, we'll pick up this stuff. We've got a stick. How do we how do we get the stick? But how do we use it? I don't know how to use our inventory. Can you pick up these things? No. What about this? This looks like a thing. All right, so we just use the inventory automatically if we figure it out, I guess. And we can't, can we, but we can't. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Mike from RLM, or no mics, I say. What? You don't even like... Mystery Science Theater 3000? I'm guessing the dog can go through that little door? Let's see. I didn't know we could control the dog. Nope. Okay. I don't know what this little door right here is, then. Should we push the red button, see what happens? Oh, look at this. We've got some sort of clue. Some sort of clue. I don't know what it means yet. But we've definitely got it. Maybe I should write it down? I don't know. All right, the dog can go through these doors like I suspected. Or dog-like alien, I guess. Who really knows what we should call this creature? We ate something. Uh, just a swirly spiral thing. This game is crazy. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm terrible at, at adventure games, but I thought it would be fun to... to play a game that dug to Nipple Bed. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's very much like a dream.
Very much so. I knew you'd come. You have traveled far, yet your true journey begins through the exit unseen. Hmm. Know this. To open one door, you must block another. Is that bugle boy you're wearing? No idea what you're talking about. I wonder if I messed it up. I wonder if I can't even move this now. Why can I move this back? I could have already lost. Is that a Jordan Peterson shirt? Yes. Yes, it is. Hello, Sixth Anomaly. Welcome. <laughs> I really have no idea what to do. If you guys have any suggestions, don't hesitate to put them in the chat. No, no, I have this on, on, uh, good old games. <laughs> hmm. Ah, I knew you'd come. You've oh, I see. You've traveled far, yet your true journey begins through the exit unseen. There we go. What is armor crack? Does it mean something? Uh, I don't... Has something to do with this game. I don't know. I don't know. What's the name of the game? I guess we'll find out. I think this little guy is actually uh, Rob Paulson, who played Yakko on Animaniacs.
So you have to match these hieroglyphics things, but I don't know which I don't recognize any of them but this one. So I did figure something out. I advanced in the game. That's one step. That is one step for sure. Can we go back down? We can. No, maybe not. Yes, we can. Okay. Maybe it has to do with these. I guess we could take a note and write them down, maybe draw them. That way we, we know what they all look like. drying these real quick and then we'll go back up there and see if they match anything we saw up there Nope. None of them look like anything we saw down there. No! Why couldn't it be obvious? I'm terrible at these puzzle games. Maybe this is a bad idea to play this one. I don't know. So I could I thought it was going to be something with these lights. What if the dog goes through here without the light on? It's a miracle when I figure something out in a puzzle game. Yeah, I don't know what the picture is supposed to be of because these are the only things I see this one and I don't a picture of what do you suggest it is kind of creepy I'll give you that it's a little uh a little strange looking Maybe Doug can come in to find the stream and help us. The 
In turn, you shall find two rooms in the round. In turn, you shall find two rooms in the round. Salad fingerish. A picture of what? That's the question. This man's face. Rest the rusty kettle. Like a spot of ruby tea. Brother Kenneth, back from the Great War. We're on like the second puzzle, man. Greetings, friend. I am Abraham Lincoln. What? Can I? What? I go back to the puzzle. This one? Yeah. So if you look, like the one on the middle left mm -hmm. and the one on the bottom right look like they should be part of the same thing. I think you can also adjust up and down. So move it back to the right, move the bottom to the left, and then move it up click the up arrow. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you kind of look around and see what ones look like they might go together until it does like I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Let's see. I don't know. Could be. Yeah, I saw that he got the... So what do you think that indicated? I wrote that down. So with the little guy who talks, like you said, clicks teeth twice on top, once on middle. Let's see. We've messed up the rows, right? So we don't know which what the or original order was. Where's Eric Johnson when you need him? You should come watch the stream. I'm sure he's played this game. I'm sure he's waiting to like reset the puzzle.
Yeah, I have no idea. No, nah, I mean, I've clicked it a million times. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Doug's defeated. The game has defeated us. Here we go, Doug. Terrible. I have no idea. Dude, one thing if they sort of matched a little bit, restart. So what, what, two, three, one, but what? Wait a second. Are these all the same? It's like I'm seeing new ones every time we... I don't know. That I think that's th just the way it is. You're supposed to put them in the middle. Like that's the passcode or something. So like you're supposed to do something, some sort of sequence in the middle. I just don't know what that is supposed to be. Because the only thing that looks like something we've seen in the game so far is... I don't even see it now. Oh... Uh... There's one I'm not seeing now. There's this one. The one in the middle now. That's the only one that we've seen, or I've seen in the game. Yeah, it's basically like I have to look up the... Look up the... <laughs> the answer to the puzzle. I just... I don't have the patience. Like, some of these games you have to mess around or, like, just... Wait until you sort of figure it out. Potentially what it originally looked like. Yeah. First out of the three, so it did that. <laughs> yeah, I could. It'd still be all messed up, though. Hmm. But if you reset it to what it was originally, then try doing adjusting the arrows to the thing. Try that. I don't know.
I guess we should have tried that going up. Never happened here. It was not good. I don't know what it does for us. Yeah, I'm sure it is, but... We're not figuring it out. I don't see anything to click on in here. Oh! So do we just skip that, I guess? I don't... It makes no sense. I have no idea. It's killing me. Killing me. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely is a challenge here. I'm probably just going to have to watch it like a walkthrough and then come back the next time and be like, oh, look, I, I, I totally am super smart and know how to do all of this stuff. Whenever I played these games as a kid, I had no idea what to do. These adventure games. I never played Commander Blood. I don't even remember the one... I think I found, I think on a stream one time, I figured out what one I had played back in the day that we had. And I couldn't figure out anything that you were supposed to do. You had to type it. And I had no, I mean, I just, no clue. It was so confusing to me as a little kid. But then there were ones like, Museum Madness. That was a point-and-click adventure game. But the puzzles were a little bit more... They were all sort of science-based, and you could sort of figure them out. A lot easier, because it was meant for smaller kids, I imagine. And so that's why it was... Easier. Should play that one. <laughs> I could beat that one. Right, so that dog thing has to be on there. In order for you to go through there. Well, we found all of the... Uh... Oregon Trail was fun. Oh, there's another room. Huh. I didn't know there was... You could go up again. What are we on? Oh, we found something. I should probably take this. What's this? What's this thing? It probably is. The difficulty probably is built up, but we're just not uh, not clever enough to figure it out.
We can just blame Doug for this. I'm thinking that thing goes in here. What? What did that do? I mean, it moves something around, but does it... Well, there we go. We can go through here. Maybe I th I'm thinking we're supposed to figure them all out at once, but you're supposed to do this and get more information. That must be, <laughs> must be what you're supposed to do. Holy moly. Okay, so we've got another... We've got another thing there. Let's draw that symbol, and we'll go see if that's one of the choices on... I don't remember seeing that one, but we'll go and look for it. Eric, help me! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! Oh, what do I do? It's so... I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible. Help me. You guys, if you're not subscribed to Crossplay Gaming, definitely should be. Another fantastic streamer. One of the... The only other one I ever watch. Other than uh, Jimmy from Games, Movies, and Comics R Us. Am I, I think, I mean, out of sheer persistence and... Just clicking randomly around the screen, we've gotten this far. But, you know me, I'm terrible at these games, so... I'm checking to see if that... is anywhere on any of these. I mean, I'm sure you remember it better than me. Come on, man. Am I on the right track? Am I... Am I Am I thinking correctly? Okay, I don't see... There it is. So that one's supposed to, be, I think, be in the middle. And then this one is supposed to be on one of the sides, and then there's one more, whatever that is. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Let's go down and see if we can... Awesome. So <laughs> th that'll be my homework. Just, oh, yeah, I'll just go see what Eric did. On his stream. Okay. This one. I mean, I don't know what that I'm supposed to, what information I'm supposed to get from this symbol. Yeah, so the pattern is this is supposed to be on that side, and then there's a third one we're supposed to find. Okay. At least we know. So we could just go through the entire thing until we get it. Trial and error instead of trying to figure it out. I'm wondering, I, it might, I don't know. Once you've got two, I imagine you can go, yeah, process of elimination, right?
There's a ton of them now. There's a ton of choices. Let's try this one. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! We did it! Process of elimination worked! <laughs> but we're in another room with a puzzle! It never ends! It's like it's a puzzle game or something. I don't know. Oh, that's the... Well, I think it's a good stopping point as we figured out this puzzle. No, I don't, I don't have any access to the Neverhood as it is not available for purchase. Thanks, Electronic Arts. I'll just have to uh, go and watch your stream of it, as you have that game. All right, guys, thank you for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. Remember to play the games the way you want to play them. Don't listen to whatever anybody else says. Play the games you want, even if you're terrible at them, like me and puzzle games. Adios.